Hi, this is David Davis from Actual Tech Media. We're live here at VMworld 2016 in Las Vegas, and I'm proud to be joined by Mr. Hisham Murad, who's in technical marketing at VMware. How are you doing, Hisham? I'm very good, David. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. So, you know, we've been talking about your, your really popular session today, you know, keeping it simple with VROps. Um, the, the keynotes were this morning uh, and, and yesterday as well. The technical keynote today, you know, they did a lot around uh, VROps and, and all that you can do with it. There's the new VROps uh, for networking, there's VROps uh, management packs, there's a lot of extensibility. And so, you know, now I wanted to talk about something brand new with VROps, and that's the latest release. It's version 6.3, and I heard there's a lot of new features in it. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, absolutely. So just last week, we released the, the latest version of VROs Operations. As you mentioned, it's 6.3. And we have a lot of new exciting things in there. So we have this new home page when you launch into VROs Operations. It's a, it's a very interesting page in that it really gives you prescriptive information. It's almost like a, a task list, if you will, in terms of how to address the issues that are taking place within your environment. So you can go in and address those health issues that are taking place, you know, where do you need to focus your efforts today when you come in in the morning, and but also provide you, you know, information uh, around where do you need to start looking at remediating those, you know, uh, future and up and coming issues. So really being proactive and leveraging that those proactive nature capabilities of realized operations. So that's one of the you know the new things is that new home page. Okay. Uh, the other thing we also brought in now is. You know, we introduced also the vSphere 6 hardening as well. Oh, so okay. we have now the vSphere 6 hardening, so we got information around vCenter server, uh, uh, vSphere networking, um, as well as the vSphere hosts and vSphere VMs. So now we have all that hardening information uh, introduced, uh, brought in now with the VLS Operation 6.3. So, so that's, that's recommendations on how to secure those that's different right. areas? Yeah, okay. so that's everything that we have from a vSphere hardening guide to make your environment a lot more secure. So if you're failing to meet any of those specific guidelines that we provide, we're actually surfacing that information for you so you can go in and address those real important security issues, which obviously are very important for a lot of our customers. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't usually think about VROps as a security tool. Right. So I think that's a really innovative new feature in 6.3. Anything else in 6.3 you want to share? Yeah, so we've actually continued to do enhancements around the workload balancing okay. uh, area as well. So we've actually uh, enhanced that UI. So you have the ability to go in and take a look at your environment to see how your DR DRS configuration is, oh, uh, is nice. today um, because as you know DRS works uh, in conjunction with the workload balancing feature of VROps so they work hand in hand so as a result right so you can see the DRS information you can actually make DRS configuration changes but then have the ability right from that UI also to go in and uh, execute those workload balancing and rebalance container actions, right? So moving those workloads across clusters to achieve better performance within your environment. So that's another you know, uh, big area. And another thing also we're continuing to do is really trying to simplify the UI. So there's yeah. areas where we have, you know, we can simplify the UI, make it where it's less clicks and really improve that user experience. And that's really a big focus for us here at VMware. Very nice, very nice. Well, I look forward to trying out the new release of 6.3. Is that in the hands-on labs yet? Um, I believe it is in the hands-on lab, so if okay. you check out, I believe it's uh, the lab 1701 and 1710. Okay. Uh, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so well, I'll include links to those in the blog post yeah. that goes along with this video. So thanks so much today, Hisham. Hey, thank you, David. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. Thank you.